बजेगा Inglorious Bastion has returned to Jaw Links, and with him came a brand new card that basically takes one look at monster effects and goes, yeah, now nah, I'll pass. The card is called Armeno, and although monster effects are pretty annoying, I also don't like spell cards, and traps are gay, so I went ahead and made this. So the deck list is very straightforward. The entire deck is built around Tides of the Brethren, which is a card that when activated allows you to target one monster you control and special summon two additional monsters from your deck with different names but of the same type and attribute as the targeted monster. So in this case, you will want to target Amano with this card to special summon both Sandman and Wall to the board. Keep in mind, Amano cannot be special summoned, so in a case where you don't have Amano, you will have to special summon Boulder instead. Amano is a monster that stops all monster effect activation but he comes with a pretty hefty downside of he has to return to your hand at the end of the turn. But that's where we turn this downside into a positive. As most of you may know, both Sandman and Wall also come with a pretty hefty downside of being destroyed during the end phase unless you discard an Iron Core or reveal one Rock type monster from your hand, which in this case will just be Armano. For those of you that haven't seen these Koraki cards before, Wall is a card that can be attributed to negate any spell card and similarly, Sandman can be attributed to negate any trap card. Border, as I said earlier, is the backup plan since Ties requires two monsters. All he does is when destroyed, you may add one level 4 Quacky monster or Iron Call to your hand. The rest of the deck is filled with supporting cards and your boss monster win condition for if your opponent ever does manage to start playing the game. Maximus is special summoned by banishing an Iron Core from your hand and he's able to destroy one card on the field each turn. He requires a discard of either Iron Core or Quacky Monster at the end of each turn or he is destroyed. Iron Core is just your activator for your Quackies. Basically this card can add itself back to your hand during your draw phase instead of conducting your normal draw if it is in your graveyard. Diamond Core allows you to search for any Quacky Monster or an Iron Core as well as protects your Quacky Monsters from destruction effects, including from their own effects. Chalice is in here for if you want to keep a Mano on the board as this card negates monster effects, meaning if it's used on Amano, he will not return to your hand during the end phase. And finally, Canadia. This card is a pretty non-meta card, as I don't think I've ever seen someone run this card before, and its effects are just a complete mystery to us all. Alright guys, that's basically it for the Toy Empire this video. The rest of this video will be 8 gameplay showing this deck list in action. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, comment if you've got any questions or feedback. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Also, join my Discord, link at the top of the description. Also, I forgot to mention, I did do a live stream with this deck yesterday, so the vote of that will be up as soon as this video is uploaded. So if you want more gameplay with some commentary, feel free to go watch that.
Hey, big brother, can I watch SpongeBob? Shut up, Mokuba. I'm busy flagging YouTube videos to compensate for the fact that I have an extremely small penis. Oh.